Yo, my peoples, what's up? Welcome to the One Stop Co-op Shop. Jason here, and today I have a solo playthrough for Exo World Survival. This one is a cooperative game for one to five players in which you are playing survivors of the ecological disaster of the Earth. It is nigh uninhabitable, and you are taking to space, going to different planets, trying to establish colonies that could sustain human life. Exo World Survival is a card-based resource management and grid layout game. Most of the cards are going to be comprised of these modules. As your pieces move around uh, this area, we are going to build out a colony. And as we build out the colony, it's going to adjust what we produce, all the essentials of life, food, life, etc. Our goal is to create a self-sustaining colony in which all of these are producing at zero or better. You notice in the beginning, we're gonna have some struggle with production and our resources are going to dwindle. So can we build a self-sustaining colony before our resources run out? This one is a scenario-based game. I'm playing the most uh, simple scenario in this one. There are many more, including an expansion. So there's a lot to explore here in Exo World Survival. So without further ado, let's get to the playthrough after some channel announcements. We are the One Stop Co-op Shop, a gaming empire, and your one stop for solo and cooperative gaming goodness. So we're just going to jump right in uh, for the most part. I'll explain some setup stuff. I actually have a solo game laid out. So I picked three characters. Uh, so I have the three pawns that are going to start on the home card. I'll show you that in just a second. Uh, the big thing for solo is that in multiplayer, everyone gets a hand of cards. And then there's this common market. In solo, it is one hand of cards. Uh, and then each of the three characters activate separately. My general rule for cooperative games that play solo, just give me the one hand of cards, and then I can truly say that I'm playing a solo game. So here is the current state of my module. I have enough energy right now to sustain myself, so I start off at zero, uh, but I do not have enough oxygen, water, or food, or at least I don't have the production capacity. I'm at minus two throughout the course of the game. I gotta get all three of these to zero, uh, and they inch up there, so I uh, have plenty to do. So I set all that up with uh, the Proxima Centauri board, difficulty one, just to get us started. Uh, and here is the initial setup. Here are some ambient conditions, and this will interact with the events and some of the cards. Uh, I also set up my player deck with uh, the, the bunch of cards and also these protocol cards, which are event cards. I'll show those too. Uh, so most of the setup stuff is on this sheet. And also when I trigger certain events, I consult this scenario, and those are going to change depending on which scenario I'm playing. So here is home base, and I'm going to begin with one of my characters. As I said before, we start with a hand, and everyone, all of my characters will share this hand. And the essence of the game is getting these cards played. So for the most part, uh, the module cards, which is the lion's share, are going to all work the same. They're going to have a type, they're going to have a cost to play them, and an effect. Uh, mostly affecting my production capacity. So I definitely want to play this Saboteur Reactor for more water. A lot of the cards are trades. You know, you get one thing and then you have the minus one thing. This is just pure good. So let's get that going real early. So every character begins a turn with four actions. And there are a couple of options for actions. So one option, which I'm going to want to do, is select one card and add it to my hand. I can draw from the face up row or uh, from the face down deck. And then I would fill that up, another module. So I am now ready because I have two of these cards uh, to play this reactor. Play cards is super easy. Just declare what card you're playing, discard the currency that is required. So the upper left, you are gone. And now I have a Sabatier reactor for some extra water in my base. The effect happens immediately. I have one less deficit when it comes to water production. 
All right, so I have two more actions for the turn and an empty hand. So this is a card game. You want to draw cards with these last two actions. So let's see what I have on offer. The electrolyzer cell would increase my oxygen based on the ambient uh, quality of the atmosphere, how much CO2 there is. So then that is where I would consult the ambient conditions. These will change from scenario to scenario. Right now, this would just be one. Uh, other scenarios have this at zero or even negative one or have it at a two, depending on what you're doing. Uh, so playing this electrolyzer cell would increase one thing and decrease another, which really isn't a great trade uh, unless I am streaking way ahead in something. Remember, uh, I only need to get things to zero. So a strategy is definitely... Uh, you know, pump something up to two or three and then play some of these balancing cards to make up for it. I don't have to worry about that right now. I'm not going to worry about taking this card. So this card is just pure good. So let's go ahead and start uh, by taking this card and then I will refill. That's my third action. Oh, so here is an example of an item. It's not every card is a module. Items are one shot cards and I you know just get rid of them on my turn. This particular item says, play on your turn, play this card to draw two cards from the player deck and or face up cards. So for my fourth action, I'm going to draft this card and then uh, go ahead and play. Ooh, look at that module looking real good. An example of something that's advanced. So really have to coordinate, make sure you're uh, headed in the right direction. It gets you generally more stuff than it takes away. All right, so that was the end of my four actions. However, I can use this item as a free. And it says a draw two cards for the player deck and or face up cards uh, because I don't have any cards. Perfect time to use it. Uh, a reason not to use it is if I needed it for its icon. So everything is basically multi-use in this game, uh, but I need cards. So let's go ahead and top deck two cards. We have oh, wind turbines. Okay, I already got that. And this is the last type of card, the protocol. Uh, these are way more powerful. They're rare. The scenario will tell you how many put in the deck. Uh, out of a, a number of them that are available. They're wild, so that's good. Or you can play after revealing an event or out your turn and do some kind of a good effect. In this particular case, play this card to skip the effect, the event card, ooh -hoo. Uh So there's some nasty events. <laughs> uh, so use these uh, with care. So that is the end of this character's turn, but just to demonstrate more things that can be done. Uh, movement is one action, uh, just orthogonal, not uh, diagonal. Uh, occasionally, there will be some leaks that occur, and that is a result of stuff that comes out of the event deck. You have one action to fix it. Also, uh, for the sake of balancing, let's say that uh, your uh, base is out of balance a bit, you can shut a place down, or an event will shut it down. Uh, and then that will adjust the uh, production accordingly. The final thing that I can do on a module is what the game calls produce supplies. I got to be standing on it. If I am on a certain color, then I can get a resource outside of the production cycle of that color. So what that would look like right now, I start with 15 of every resource, oxygen, water, food, and energy. So then making one would increase me to 16, a very good option just in case I'm running behind on a certain thing. So the next thing that happens uh, on the end of a player turn, every player turn, no matter who it is, you gotta pull an event. So an event is normal scenario event. Uh, and for that, I would consult the scenario. Uh, and this one is just going to eat your resources. So uh, we are currently facing the sun precisely during the something like that. <laughs> when we are close to our star, that means we'll have to withstand high temperatures for a week, melting our water and uh, overloading our air conditioning. So that's this. So then I would have to lower my water by two and lower my sun by one. While I'm here, let's go ahead and take care of the production phase, which is the third uh thing that you have to do in a turn. So then a minus two oxygen, I'm gonna cost myself there, one lower water, two lower plants, and then energy stays the same. So then these are gonna go down, down, down as I work on my modules. Once something hits zero, then it's gonna go uh, bump up against this emergency stuff and it can sub in for anything. Uh, this is the game's lose condition right here. If I go down to zero in any of my resources and also cost myself emergency stuff. Eh, eh. But that's basically everything you need to know to play Exo World Survival. Let's get into it. 
All right, so now that we have gotten to know the basics uh, of play, we can get into uh, acquainting ourselves with our characters. Uh, I went with the operations assistant, which is gray. So you just kind of pair a player aid with the card. Uh, the card has movement. So I misspoke before and I said that a movement is one square. It's actually the movement of the card. Uh, and that'll come into play as I gave my modules down. This is their max hand size, and that will go up and down in the solo. So right now, uh, or as I was the operations assistant, they had a hand of four. Uh, this next character can have a hand of five, and that'll kind of be variable. That's okay. Uh, the power here, technical support, once per turn, you may copy one of the special skills of another character that's in the same module as you. So I can double up on these two powers. The medic, I always play the medic somewhere in my games. Once per turn to the free action, I can remove a health issue card from you or any other player of the same module that you are. That will come from the event deck. Health issues are bad. They stop you from doing X, Y, Z. We will see them. The laborer. Once per turn, you may do this produce supplies action for free. All right, so I would like to build these wind turbines because they're just, they're just good. Uh, but I need a blue. I'd like to avoid uh, using my wild if I need to. So let's go ahead and draw a top card and just see what happens. Solar panels, that's not quite whatever. Eh. Uh, so now I have four cards. And I can grow my hand as much as I want as long as I end the turn. Uh, and I'm gonna have to discard uh, down to my max hand size. So right now with the medic, it's five. So I can draft one more card that I have room for. Let's go ahead and top deck something green. Okay, uh, so this is a pretty good card to play, but this is better <laughs> because it does a little bit more for me. So as long as I'm playing cards, that I might as well do the thing that has more for. So that was two actions. Uh, and so if I wanted to play it, I couldn't play it out of the market, I'd have to draft it. Let's go ahead and draft it for my third action and play. Uh, the cost is going to be, let's hold on to this, uh, but two greens, I'll use the wild, and two yellows right there is going to get me all of this production. So that is zero on food, up to one on oxygen but I have reduced my water and my energy. That's not so bad. All right, so we get the event poll, which is the normal seminary event again. Uh, as a reminder, I lose some water and some energy. So probably not the best idea <laughs> to nerf my water right now. Oops, sorry about that. Just in case you are wondering, uh, depending on the level and the state of the expansion and all that, there's all sorts of different uh, effects that can happen, canceling, shutting things down a lot, uh, deploying special tokens, discarding cards. So keep in mind, I am playing with the most basic scenario and then it grows from there. And now I pay for my indiscretions in terms of the water. <laughs> that thing is rocketing down, uh, but at least I have enough food that's stable and everything else kind of balances from there. So that scenario is why it's such a good idea that I brought the laborer along. So the laborer is gonna move one and then for their special power, they are going to produce supplies for free. So let's go ahead and have them produce and also use another action to produce again. And so that will basically negate the uh, lack of production uh, for this turn. But at, this game really is about harm mitigation uh, as much as it is about you know moving forward and advancing. So here is a promising card, uh, the Moisture Vaporator. Is that a real word? <laughs> <laughs> vaporator. Uh, so it would produce water at the rate of the humidity level on the planet, which is what this symbol means. And that refers back to this corner sheet. But the humidity level where I am right now, because it's so friggin hot, is zero. It's a dry heat uh, on this planet. So building this for the sake of its water would be completely terrible. The only thing it's useful for is the symbol on the upper right. So we're not drafting that right now. So the one card I have is solar panels. We're not interested in uh, getting that just yet. Let's mill this deck a little bit. Uh, so we got oxygen candle item. Play on your turn, not an action. Play this card to perform two extra actions for free. Uh, two extra actions is more card draw for the most part in this game. But we are below our hand limit by a lot. So let's just go ahead and draft one more. Hold on to that one, the oxygen generator. Uh, oh, <laughs> more nerfing of water. You're not getting played. 
All right, so we have an event, which is anemia. You have been diagnosed with anemia, probably caused, it, caused by our diet and the slow adaptation to gravity, among other factors. It is a health issue. Keep this card in your character until you have three green cards in hand. When you have it, uh, you, your hand limit is reduced by two cards. <laughs> Uh, so uh, it is the at the end of the player turn I have to discard. I didn't have to discard at that point, but if I end my next turn with this card in hand, then I would have to discard if I had more uh, than four. This does not count towards the hand limit. It's just there to remind you what's going on. Because in solo you have one hand, uh, basically everybody has amnesia. You have to deal with it. Uh, the way to deal with it is having a three cards, uh, three green cards in your turn, which is terrible. Uh, but I have my medic who can heal stuff. See what I can do with that. I mentioned before about the sad state of my water supply. That's just not going to get any better anytime soon. Next up is the operations assistant. Their ability is they can copy a character. Uh, they could copy the medic. The medic's power is to get rid of one of these health issues. Uh, let's hold off on that for now. I really want them to produce, <laughs> get to the labor and shore up our water for now. Let's mill the deck and try to find the right module. One action, which I did not discuss, uh, but I am in perfect position for it, is to recycle. Wipe what's here uh, for one action and then draw two more and see what's going on. Okay, I have an ability to get a water recovery system going. That would help, but it would nerf something that's already down for me. So don't know if I want to make that trade for now. What I want to do is I want to build this because this is just pure good, but I need another yellow. So let's go ahead and take uh, another card, top decking green. <laughs> so I need to get some card cycling going on. So let's go ahead and burn this oxygen candle. Play any turn, uh, play this card to perform two extra actions for free, which is going to be card draw. So let's draw one card, another green, uh, which increases two things, but oh. No, <laughs> that's not getting played ever. Uh, but the good thing is that if I draw a third green, I will be able to get rid of this amne uh, anemia without using the power. I could do something else. Uh, let's draw again hydrogen fuel cell. Okay, that's actually a little bit more promising. Uh, yeah, get some water in there. And so I did want to get over to blue and start shoring that up, but... I have an opportunity, so let's take it. So the operations uh, person assistant is going to copy the medic and cure this anemia right now. So I don't have to discard at the end of the turn. Uh, and then I have two more regular actions on my turn. We're going to draft this red and immediately use it. Uh, two red are in the trash. And let's play this hydrogen fuel cell. Hydrogen fuel sub brings that down to negative two. You see how uh, balancing this, so like I got this hit a little bit, but then I'm able to kind of improve some other things. And I got two out of my four systems to zero. Feel good about that. And so I have pulled an event, which is a critical event. There are five of these in the deck that I shuffled in. Uh, they're gonna be scattered throughout my play. So then I would consult what the scenario card says for the critical event, lose two food. Uh, which is great because that's my best thing uh, and lose a question mark amount of energy uh, reduce the energy supply by one plus additional one for each solar panel model installed and working so solar panels are the one of these uh, energy things that if i you know they're just pure good but in this scenario they're bad uh, so let's just go ahead and reduce that by one while i'm here we are gonna just keep on using stuff but we've stabilized this right side of the board. All right, so it is the Medic's Go. As a reminder, I got these three cards, none of which I want to play right now because they're all even trades. Uh, so I need to get ahead on something before I uh, do anything like that. Radio Thermal Generator, ooh. Talk about getting ahead on something, but I'm pretty far from the requirements, but this is so worth it, hmm. All right, well, hand of five cards. Let's go ahead and draw again, see what I get. A protocol card. I was just wondering when I was going to get one of those. They make the game more exciting. It's four of them in this scenario. Plenty of time, not an action. Place this card permanently to permanently increase the number of face-up cards by one up to a maximum of five. Very nice. Uh, so there's other characters that can increase this. 
of the number of cards that are available. I'm not playing one of those, but I have another card available to me and it is blue. Woohoo! All right, so I'm close to playing this thing. Is this worth playing? Absolutely not. Hmm. So, do I want to just draw out, discard my uh, green and go for that yellow? Yes, I think I want to do that. So, that was two card draws. Let's go ahead and do a third card draw. Oh, look at that. Intensive search. Plenty of time, not an action. Play this card to take a card of your choice from the player deck. Shuffle the deck afterwards. Hmm. So what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to play this radiothermal generator and then immediately go, I guess I have this. Oh, I'm going to have discarded this. Oh, man, choices. Well, these green cards are doing me no good. I'm, I'm not worried about discarding them. I'm going to try to get another one. That's another green card. Uh, ooh, that actually might be very helpful when I get that. So that's actually was worthwhile draw. Uh, so that leaves me with a hand of six cards. Let's go ahead and discard one of these cards that I'm never going to play. You look like a good candidate. I am down to five. All right, event time. Compression failure. Compressor failure. There's a problem with the air compressor used on air recycling unit. We have to replace it to make it work again. <laughs> Not very exciting flavor text, but I guess this is more of an engineering game rather than kind of an adventure game. All right, if there are any red modules installed and working, place an oxygen leak token on one of them uh, of your choice. Those are these things. Uh, so that'll eat up extra resource, but I don't have a red installed. All right. However, resources continue to dwindle. So I think I'm going to install this radiothermal generator this turn, but let's go ahead and give one draw. See what I get, a yellow. Oh. I have no use for my green. What's it going to do for me? That's good. That's bad. I already have minus two oxygen. Uh, make me really vulnerable. So oh, you're just going to have to be fodder, aren't you? So let's go ahead and just draft these two cards for a uh, third action. So, uh, see what I get. Oh, okay. Uh, cyber, uh, whatever, culture. <laughs> well, that, that would get it back for... Um, that might be useful a little bit later. And filling this in, the greenhouse, a bunch of futziness there. But this is the laborer's play. This is what I have to work with. Let's go ahead and do that radiothermal generator uh, right there, discarding two yellow and two blue. Manage to avoid uh, discarding the wild, which is nice. I do not like that at all, but I really like that. Energy cannot go higher than that, but all of my future, uh, whatever I do, is going to have to subtract from energy. So that works out. And also, while I'm the uh, laborer is on the blue, they have the free action to do that, which is a good thing. <laughs> uh, doing this a little bit out of order, but that's okay. Uh, and let's see, up to 11, 12, 13. Uh, I just did that out of order. I apologize for that, but let's go back in order. Uh, check generators. If there are any yellow modules installed and working, place an energy leak token on one of them. So I installed it, but I installed it busted. <laughs> uh, so at the end of that production phase, this would decrease an extra one, which is about as good as I can hope for. All right, so let's go with the operations assistant. They have no health issue to deal with. So they are going to move into blue and copy the laborer's power and shore up some blue. So that was a free action. Uh, this is my hand as it is. These are those two greens that were hanging out. The hydroponic palm now looks like a good move, but I need two blue to do it. So uh, looking at this, I'm not attracted to anything <laughs> over here. This is a possibility, but going too low on blue is not sound enticing. So let's go ahead and recycle for our first action. Uh, wipe that. Okay, blue. Okay, I'll take that. That is an energy. Uh, There's an item, energy drink, and I can move. So in this scenario, it doesn't take too many modules to get done what you're going to get done. In the more advanced scenarios, you get more time, more things to do. That's more important. Uh, all right, so this one, we've seen this before, a possibility because we have lots of energy uh, to deal with. And another blue, the good blue. Oh, what? Subterranean extractor. 
Uh, that would solve my water needs. I have plenty of energy. Am I close to that? The cards are just not lining up for that. And I, oh, so, so many choices. At least I have this intensive search. Play this card and take a card of your choice in the player deck. So the player deck is getting low. And once I get to the bottom, then I reshuffle and I'll, that card will become uh, really good again. So I might use this, discard it, mill that, get that back of the deck, and then, yeah, let's do that. So that was one action. Let's go two, take that, and play this. Ooh, another protocol card. Uh, place on a resource update uh, phase. If at least one resource supply is depleted, you can play this card to skip the resource phase. Ah, I'm, I'm coming, I'm getting close. <laughs> so that might not be uh, such a bad thing. Uh, and then we're gonna take this energy drink. Yeah, we're not using you for your power. Uh, another oxygen cycler. Oh, I might have to uh, play with that. But that, mm, don't don't love the look of that. What I do love the look of is um, getting this hydroponic farm down. Let's go ahead and take that. I drew two cards. Two cards I don't want to discard, but the, you can't do everything in this game. Uh, and I'm gonna get one oxygen, one uh, food, and minus two energy which looks a lot like that. So let's do stuff in the right order this time. Uh, we have a short circuit. A short circuit occurred in an electricity accumulator on one of the generators. <laughs> the flavor text on here is, uh, I don't know, man. Uh, place an energy leak token in your current location. Ooh. Oh, good thing it's energy, though. Energy I can afford to lose. Oxygen and water, however, it is getting harder to breathe and drink. But at the very least, we have uh, energy. We don't have energy. We have a leak. Ugh, might have to spend some actions taking care of that. The medic's turn to go. We need water. We have water. All right. That was a direct draw in my hand. Uh, but boo, I need yellow. I'm one towards it. And, uh, uh, and also, I have this thing. Hmm, some, some options. Let's go ahead and draw again. That is a yellow first aid kit. Healing. Yep, health issue. Pfft. That's definitely going to be a resource. And what the hey, let's give it a try. One more try. Uh, we get a red, which is, oh, that's actually, oh, that's promising. Uh, I don't have a red in hand right now. So we'll actually, you know what? I do have to get this played. As painful as it is to get rid of intensive search because it's basically get me another card. The deck is really thin uh, and I'll be able to you know, get it back uh, once I get through that again. So that's going to be that and uh, get rid of this item card and to play the Sabatier reactor, which is pure goodness for me. And now the medic has to move if they want to install anything again. We are coming a little bit closer to homeostasis in our module. All right, event time, aborted plan. Recent events have forced us to throw away some of the plans we have for the next few days. If there are one or more protocol cards in the player's hands or face of cards, choose one of them, put it in the game box, removing it from the game. Oh, no! These are so good. At the very least, I do get a replacement, which is the water recovery system. That is actually perfect for what I need. Uh, getting there, slowly getting there. Slowly, almost dying. Minus one, minus one, plus one, plus one. Eh, energy leak, minus two. So the laborer goes, and while I'm here, you know what I'm gonna do. Bail, bail, get that water back in there. All right, so the first thing is I'm definitely gonna draft this one which will empty the deck. Ooh, that's a yellow, that's nice. Uh, when I cut back, this will be shuffled and I'll have a whole new deck. But just wanted to point out that uh, if I install these two, uh, so getting the pluses and also solar panels, which should be coming back, those three cards installed will win me the game. All right, I gave that one a nice shuffle off camera. Uh, I have three actions left with my laborer. Let's get some prerequisites going. We're gonna grab that one, replace a nutritional supplement. Play on your turn. 
Uh, play this card to draw two cards in the player deck. Okay, uh, we'll hold off on that for now. Hopefully the event deck doesn't eat that one. And let's take that yellow for my third action, Subterranean Extractor. Oh, but I don't need it now. Uh, it is a really high cost. I only need to get to zero. I'm at minus one. So that just might be a currency. And so for the fourth action, let's go ahead and play Electrolyzer Cell, uh, which is, this is the atmospheric. The atmospheric for the snare is plus one. Energy is minus one. We're going to get rid of a green and a yellow, which had no hope of being played, which gets me so close, so close. <laughs> I'm really right there. The event is going to hit me in the resources. Normal scenario event. Uh, so as a reminder, it is minus two water and a minus one energy getting real down there. Uh, luckily for me, the water is at one. <laughs> uh, that's the only thing that goes down. Food goes up one. I don't have to worry about that anymore. Uh, and energy will go down. So right now, if I don't fix what's on the, uh, the, the leaks on there, this could rock it down right on me. So it is the operative assistant's turn. They can imitate the laborer because they're on the space. Going to need every little bit of water that I can get. That's a free action. The thing I need to get installed is this water recovery system. Uh, good thing I have a blue and a green resource in front of me. Uh, water, Another water recovery system. Don't care. Uh, this is my second action. A moisture evaporator. I really don't care about that. So I gotta make some room. You have to place things orthogonally. So that is action the third. And the water recovery system is down at the cost of those two cards I just drafted. Oh yeah, we are almost sustainable. Almost sustainable. Let's see what we got for the event. Ugh, contaminated farm. Warning, as a result of a poorly performed maneuver, one of our main farm became contaminated. Had to discard many crops, reduce the food supply by four. Thank goodness. I would have really hurt if it was like the water or something. And if there are any green modules installed, place an emergency token on one of them of your choice. Oh boy. The emergency token saps the emergency reserve directly. The game's lose condition is losing emergency reserve. So that's got to get taken care of. And now it's a race. Uh, so this is where the game kind of uh, comes into itself. It's a little bit of an unfortunate thing that it takes this long. Things feel kind of, you know, you're going back and forth, it's a date. But now the race element is very uh, obvious because I'm losing one energy. I'm losing two energy from the tokens that I have on there. I am gaining a food, don't have to worry about that, but I'm losing emergency uh, prematurely. Uh, so, you know, before one of these goes to zero. So that is not good news at all. So the medic goes and they're going to make a calculated choice. So they're just going to go one, two, three, four. Uh, it's either that or mill the deck for like a solar panel or something, but I'm not guaranteed to get it. Uh, why roll the dice if I can just get, take care of those right now? And back to back critical events. No, <laughs> put the tank. Warning, one of our water tanks got contaminated with external material. All the water contained was wasted. No. So that is one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> That's horrible because I got to do minus one. Thank goodness I did that maintenance round. So that is minus one. Actually, that's minus two because I have minus one production and minus one. Uh, that's it. That's it. Uh, and minus one on the board. One plus food. Maybe I can convert food to something <laughs> along the way. Come on. So we're going to do a little bit more maintenance over here. So we have the laborer. They're going to go one. They're going to go two. Fix that leak. And for their free action... They are going to produce supplies. Whoo, man, that was close. And so I am still uh, at the mercy of the event deck. Uh, and this may seem like I'm just pulling uh, for luck, but there were cards, specifically that one protocol card that I could have saved to mill the deck. And if I had it, I would just like get that card that I need out and save the day. But I used it for something else. So now I'm stuck with milling. So that was two actions that I did. Here comes the three biofuel plant. Oh man, 
Why? <laughs> I may get stuck with that anyway uh, and then have to do that other, but that's a big dance. I uh, don't know if I want to do that. So that was third action and then a fourth action, solar panels. Yes! That is the one I wanted, and I have the prerequisite for it. I just need to survive another turn. Let's see. All right, let's see what the event deck gives me. Uh, okay, defective implements. We've checked the material we brought from Earth and found some damaged parts. It must have been damaged during the landing. Take the top card from the player deck and put it in the game box, moving it from the game. Game likes to do that. Uh, good thing it didn't take away the solar panels. It took away... Uh, good thing I didn't need that. Bye-bye. <laughs> And I have minus one from here. The board has been contained. So at this point, it actually doesn't matter whose turn it is. I kind of lost track of that. <laughs> but I am going to install solar panels. Let's just say it was this guy's turn. There you go. Uh, they move over there for one. Uh, let's install the solar panels right there uh, using this as cost. And uh, that brings us to zero. And that is the end of a full game of exo world survival so as i said and i've been saying a number of times this was on the easiest scenario harder scenarios will allow you to grow this a little bit more uh, you'll have different challenges when it comes to the normal and the critical events uh, you might have to swap around characters or mess with the deck a little bit more in order to get what you need but i hope that this playthrough has given you enough of the flavor of what you're in for with this game to help you see if this will be a good fit for your gaming table. This is Jason with the One Stop Co-op Shop, reminding you that we'll see you at the next stop.